One of the biggest obstacles that businesses face is not getting paid on time and managing their cash flow. I'm Andrew Settle and in this vlog we're going to explain what you can do to overcome those cash flow issues. First of all, what you should do, you should improve your own internal procedures to notify the client that the invoices are outstanding but it will have to be passed to a solicitor or third party if that payment isn't made. If it isn't made, then you have to take those steps to instruct a firm like mine who can then uh, prepare a letter before action which is done in a professional way to make sure that you do get paid on time. You should look for firm that get your results but also after they've got you the results that you're still able to work with those clients. I mean that's really important that the firm is able to have you know difficult conversations and make agreements but most importantly can get you as a business the results you need so you don't suffer those cash flow issues. The procedures you should follow before you instruct a third party like Joseph James Law is you should have a system internally which is able to send letters to request payment, able to reproduce invoices and you should have a system in place uh, which enables at least uh, a couple of opportunities for the client to make payment. There might be genuine reasons why they haven't made payment and you don't want to go to the expense of instructing a third party if you can avoid it. So once instructed, there's a requirement to send a letter before action. They have 30 days with no further contact in terms of written correspondence. And, and that document has a form whereby they're asked whether they admit the debt, dispute the debt, or whether they want to make any payment proposals. If there's no response, then you're fully entitled to issue legal proceedings in the local county court, or if it's over a certain amount, then it will be in the high court. I understand that businesses like you are very concerned when you're recovering small amounts of money that this solicitor's cost is going to far outweigh the money that you're trying to recover. We take a percentage of the fees which are recovered and in circumstances where we don't, we're not successful then we take absolutely nothing. All solicitors in this area will work on a basis whereby they're paid on results. We're no different and you should always look for that in a solicitor or a third party. If they know, then you should be concerned. If they want paying without results, then that isn't the solicitor you should be looking for. And most cases are settled very, very quickly. Once they get a solicitor's letter or third party letter, a very high percentage will pay on receipt of that letter within the first 30 day period. Once it goes past that point, then a full trial can take anywhere between three and four months, sometimes a little bit longer depending on the court. However, the beauty of instructing a solicitor is we can recover interest on any sum which you're owed at 8% above base rate and that compensates you for you being without that money. We work with clients all over the country for large debts, small debts, complex and, and very straightforward debts and there's no limit to our geographical location with the clients that we work for. If you do need any more advice on how you can get invoices paid then contact us via email or visit our website um, or give us a call um, and we'd love to help you out with that information. My name's Andrew from Joseph James Law and I'd look forward to seeing you on the next one.